final release for PM. In this video, we will describe all the final steps to release for the PM and all the updates necessary to complete the project. When the FAB's been checked, you will receive an email from the PC telling you that it's ready for updates. If you have any question, please contact the PC. The first thing to do is check our FAPS to see if we have to do any updates. As you can see, per our standard, underscore, it's under the elevation that it's been checked. In this example, we can see a couple of updates that needs to be done. For example, dimension in this FAB, precise dimension in this other FAB, and so, so. Keep in mind that all those updates needs to be done under the DICE folder to the accurate FAPs. At the same time, make sure to mark or highlight each single of the changes in order to prove that you're done. In this example, we are going to mark the notes on the following FAP. In this example, I need to update the dimension for this holds to 7.8. So when I open my FAB and then I adjust it, I can save it. And then I highlight the PDF with a mark confirming that I already did the update. Once that all your updates been done, make sure to draw FAB tickets back to your current release in this Pick on BS shop use and then draw fab drawings. Make sure to batch plot the PDF fabs and elevation, same as done under the step 12 of, for the Swiss or previously discussed in the other video. Combine all the elevation PDF into a single combined PDF and then do the same for all the fab tickets PDF. Remember to zip all your fab tickets CAD file into a single folder by right click and selecting send to, then compress or zip folder. Naming convention should be job slash shop use breakship dash cat dot zip. In an example, ggb4 for Google Gibraltar 4 shop use breakship slash cat dot zip. List of distribution is another important step in this process. This will let you know how many parts we have and the distribution total. Return to the metal takeoff program and press F11. This will cause a list of tables to appear on the left side of the screen. In the upper right hand corner of the list will be a drop down arrow that can be used to change the list from tables to queries. From queries, scroll down until you find metal totals per distribution. With the current release filter search to be yes, shop use, and the table will only display all the shop use break shape and steel parts that were included into the typical group filter. Select all and copy the table of par and their quantities. In Excel, go to new my templates, WW templates, break shape, or steel distribution sheet. Fill the job name, the job number, and change the title from break shape or steel distribution list to the break shape distribution list. Then, Paste data previously selected into the Excel form. Export the distribution list as PDF. Merge the filled out shop use distribution list into the combined PDF of FAB tickets and place the original Excel file into the same folder with the combined elevation and HTML file. At this point, you should have one combined elevation PDF, one combined PDF FAB files, zip cat dragon files, and the Excel distribution list in your folder. Put all the files in the following locations. Job under project material, panel group, break shape, shop use. Then create a shortcut from this location to place in the following link. Job, drafting, fabs, panel group, break shape, shop use. Another takeoff program, run compact back end twice and save a copy of the database on the following link. Job, drafting, takeoff, material release to PM, panel group, break shape, shop use. Send an email to the PM, the project coordinator, 
Pete Cortez, Saul Garcia, Steve Watts, Steve Larson, Tom Lackey, and the purchasing department informing about the release. Let's get started and see an example on how to do the final release in a project. In my actual takeoff program, I select my current release for BS shop use. I already finished with all my updates and I rerun UPD into my entire elevations. So I know my quantities are accurate and my fives are correct. Then with the current release selected, I go to draw file drawings and I select the location to save the files. In this case, I'm gonna select this location temporarily. All my drawings are gonna be printed based on my actual dice folder. This very quick process will complete all the tags that I have. And as I can see, I have all the fabs listed on my folder. Now it's time to batch plot the PDF and elevations. I will start using my elevations. Following the same process described previously, I go to batch print. I select LMM2 for metal keys and I select PDF 11 by 17 to print all my elevations. I select my final destination for my files. And then all the fabs or files that I want to print and hit open to print all those. Once that I finish with my elevations, I'll do the same print PDF with my fabs. So I go back to batch print. In this time, I select active layouts and then PDF fab tickets. Select the destination and all the fabs to print. With all my PDFs, now I need to combine them into a single fab. So I select them and then combine files. Save it into a destination. And then use the right name for the project. Then shop use break shapes. Hit save. So I go to my elevations and select all my elevations and combine it into a single PDF. Again, I wait until all are loaded. And I select the final destination for the files. In this case, because we are working with elevation, I make sure to use show use break shapes and then keys and hit save. Then I select all my DWG files and then I compress all those into a zip folder and I call it UCI for the project of the name. Shop use break shapes, and then I call it cat. Now it's time to create the list of distribution. Again, I go back to my current release, select current release, hit F11, make sure I'm in curious and then scroll down until I found 
meta totals per distribution. I can see now all my parts and the total quantity for the entire project. So I just need to copy this data. Go into Excel. And on shared templates, I select WW templates. And I select break shape or steel distribution list. I paste my data before here and I change the data here. I save my file. And I hit save. I need to convert this into a PDF, so I export it and create it and publish as a PDF. So now it's time to merge my file with all my fabs and include it to the very top, the distribution list. Now that it's time to move all my final fabs into the final folder release described previously on the project man, material, break shape, shape use. In this time, I will need my CAD files. I will need my fabs. I will need my distribution list. And I will need my elevations combined. And finally, the HTML file. From this location, I need to create a shortcut for the folder in order to paste it into the other locations. So I select the folder and I create a shortcut. and paste it into the final other two folders. In this example, I need to go to on the drafting, tabs, and copy paste it here. Then remember to go back to your takeoff program and go back back and twice. So I click once and then click twice and close the program. So I go back to my drafting, take off and panel group. And I paste my shortcut already created This is a location when I need to save my database. So select your database and just make a copy into your Brickship Shop Use folder. So finally, you need to go back to your project material folder and copy the link from there to paste it into your final email release. In this case, I already have my email with all the people involved and I insert as link. It is important to include in your email, the actual fabs are based on the set of drawings and what it's included in your release. This concludes our video and the project for the shop use break ships.